Our deck is looking great, but where DIYers can often struggle is with laying out and cutting for stair stringers. Now it's important when you're cutting the risers and the treads to make sure that they're all equally spaced, and that's to help ensure that you don't have any kind of a trip hazard when walking up and down the stairs. Now if you don't trust your skills or you just need a little bit of help, you could even look at buying pre-cut stringers and they work great too. In either case, the first thing you need to know is the total rise from one level to the next. The best height for each step is gonna be around seven inches, so divide your total rise by seven. You'll likely get a long decibel number, which you'll need to round to the nearest whole number, and that's the number of steps. Now divide the total rise by the number of steps to get the exact rise for each step. Next, we're gonna determine the run or the horizontal supports that are underneath our treads. Now typically we're gonna see this number around 10 and 11 inches, but whether you're using pre-cut stringers or you're cutting the stringers yourself, you wanna make sure that you cut for one less rise because the deck itself is actually gonna be your top step. We cut ours from a two by 12 and use the first one as a pattern for the others. For our four foot stair, we're gonna cut a total of four stringers. Now you may need to add some extra support below the rim joist to attach the stair stringers. In addition to screws, we're gonna use these adjustable metal stringer connectors to make the connections. Once these are secure, we can install the risers and attach the treads. These steps are safe, comfortable, and will last for years to come. Next, we're gonna to get to the railings.